Hello and welcome to the Witches of Wellness podcast. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Camille. Hi, and I'm Brandy. And we look a little different than our first podcast. This is what we look like in real life. Yes. Um, most days. <laughs> So we are here today. Um, we thought a great topic for today would be wellness for your holiday hustle. The holidays are coming up fast. Thanksgiving is just a few weeks away. Um, with Christmas following, this is one of the most stressful times of year for a lot of people. There's so much going on. So we wanted to share um, just some of like some of our wellness tips, things that that we use, and some techniques that you can use to manage your stress and stressful situations that the holidays can put you in. (laughs) Absolutely. And it is. Time seems like it's going way too fast and the holidays are approaching. And just we have some tips, techniques, things you can do to reduce stress. Um, It seems like everyone you're running into is, you know, feeling something of some kind of stressful situation. So Yes. Yeah, so we'll have that coming up. Yes, it tis the season of stress. <laughs> yes. So we're going to share some stuff. Before that, we wanted to just say today is a very special day. Um, today is 11-11. It is our Veterans Day, and we wanted to first thank everybody for their service to our country. Yes, thank you very much for your service. Yes, and eleven eleven is also uh, significant to us for... Another reason, it is actually what is known as um, a significant spiritual number. Some people call it an angel number. Mm -hmm. Um, And it is a sign that your angels are surrounding you or that you are on the right path and you are headed in a positive direction. Yes. And um, also, too, like you were saying, um, when I see the numbers, the one, 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 one. Um, it means that we are one too. Like recognize that. And also, as you said, you're on your right path, but also it's like, pay attention to your thoughts. Um, and one, 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 one is new beginnings yes. too. Yes. New beginnings. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I actually have a funny story. Um, that I just was telling Brandy, I just lost my scrunchie. Hold oh, on no. one second. I know. I didn't like, even I to, see it come out. Yeah, it just fell out. Pardon me. It's our resident ghost. It is. It was like it was just <laughs> I <pulled>. know. <laughs> it was weird. Um, yes, new beginning. So about 15 years ago, little give or take a few months, I kept seeing the number 1111 everywhere everywhere I would see it on the clock I would see it on like on on billboards I would see it on my receipts from the grocery store everywhere and I just didn't know what the significance was but I knew there was one so I asked a friend of mine who um, was very spiritually inclined and she explained to me what the number's significance was and I thought that was so cool and actually little did I know at that time that I was this whole stretch of like, it was weeks that I was seeing this number. I was actually pregnant with my second daughter. Oh, yay. Yes. (laughs) So I was pregnant with my second daughter and had no idea. um, New beginnings. It was new beginnings. (laughs) I was seeing that number everywhere. And I actually like, my husband can vouch for this, that I before I even knew about any of this or had asked her, I kept telling him, like, I'm seeing this number everywhere. I don't know what it means. Right. And so when I found out and I told him, I'm like, okay, this is what my friend Jill said that it, it meant. And and he just laughed like he does. And he was like, well, this must be like a very special baby. Like, this must be like like a baby Jesus. <laughs> It's just like Jill. I know. <laughs> so sometimes we still like call her that. Like right. she's our very special like surprise baby yes. Jesus baby. She's miraculous. Yes. Right. <laughs> or, or our miracle baby. Yes. yes exactly. And, and she is. She's very see, precious. And, and she is very gifted and very spiritual and, and very wise beyond her years yes. too. She so. is a, definitely an old soul. She is has like a, a full like attachment right into the center of the universe and seriously yes. she really does yes 
And yeah, and very strange, just like another side note, is that um, right after she was born, I lost my brother. And so, oh yeah, she was only five months. And Oh, my god! So I also think that that was like that seeing that number was confirmation to me that, you know, I, I was being supported out there. Yes. In the universe somewhere. Like yes. Somebody had my back and was like, you're going to be OK. That, you know, yeah. We're, we're bringing new beginnings, new life. And, you know, we're we're going to give you this, like, precious little baby to take yes. care of during and that. that your brother would be there and help you and support you. Yes, yes so. exactly. So, yeah, it was very profound. And it still is. Like, it's no less profound 15 years later. <laughs> now, do you still see that number? I or? do. And actually, okay. just to mention that, I've, I've always been very conscious over the years. And recently, I've been seeing it a ton. A ton. Like, all over the place. So new beginnings. I was going to say, and that's pretty <laughs> big for you because um, you do have something coming up and people at home, I, I don't even know. <laughs> I haven't even posted it yet today. Right. So but we're, yeah. yeah, it's coming. So exactly. It, yeah. Yes. But so. I feel like I, and tell me if this is the same for you, like everybody I'm talking to is going through some sort of like transition, new beginning, metamorphosis, Absolutely. shift, like in big shifts, big, right? Like not like little stuff, like right. giant. <laughs> and I wish I'm like, <laughs> who's our astrology person? I mean, when we post this, if you can comment, because I know like this much. But yes, with the planets aligning yeah. and like when the moon was in Scorpio and it was Scorpio is deep, deep, yes. deep, deep, deep and dark. And yes, yes. And so hidden things are going to come to light and, you know, things that your shadow self, like now is, you know, winter, we are working with our shadow self, but like all of these things are, you know, that we try to avoid is coming to light now. Yes. And everybody in <laughs> the best thing, embrace it. I know it's scary. Yes. Embrace it or you're going to keep, <laughs> It'll keep dealing keep with happening. it. Right. Exactly. If yeah. you don't, when things come <clears throat> up. If you don't do your shadow work, it's just going to come up again later. So right. just do it now. <clears throat> Everybody, me. let's just pinky promise to do it now. Yes. <laughs> and if you need help, reach out to us. This is yes. what we do. This is this what is, we do. Yes. It's our whole life. This, Yep. This is what we do is we support people in mm -hmm. going through these types of transitions. Um, if you've been through a spiritual awakening, you know that it's not always love and light. Right. Sometimes it's really messy and really just terrible <laughs> it is and with a lot of people going through that now then you're adding the stress of the holidays yes you know and oh. that could just push you over the edge exactly it's like too much right you're already right. feeling that energy of shifting and then you're like like pushed into the season of a lot of stuff right <laughs> so. there's you know the stuff I'm talking about like the holidays like you're not only are you like pressed for time you're trying to get gifts taken care of and anxiety over having to be around people you might not want to be around. <laughs> right. Well, and just people in general because, yes, right. you know, with COVID, so it's like yes. a lot of people are still, you know, cautious about going to stores. And I mean, we try to be very cautious. And, yes, always. Um, and especially in our space at the collective, we're very cautious. Yes, we're very cautious. We are like literally touching people in our space. So we have to be. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So, <laughs> so yeah. So that's why Camille and I, we got together and we thought, okay, you know, what are some of the things we do to de-stress during the holidays? Some tried and true things yeah. that work. So that's what we we're going to bring to you today. Yes. And we're trying to keep this to like things that you can actually like have at your disposal, like yes. right when you need them. Like, mm -hmm right when you need them, right? Because when you don't know when that moment's going to happen, where right. you're just going to like lose it, right? <laughs> like, you don't know when that's going to happen. So these are things that like you can have them ready, have them in your home, have them in your purse. Um, remember what we talk about today. Yes. And when you find that you're in that moment, like these are things you can use immediately mm -hmm. to help. Yeah. So um, one of the things, um, and I've actually got my phone here because I couldn't remember all of these myself. Um, a thing that we use a lot is um, we use a lot of uh, 
affirmations. Oh, yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. affirmations. I'm actually, you know what, I'm looking to see. I don't know if we're actually recording right now. Uh-oh, pause. <laughs> oh, here, hold on. Stay tuned. <laughs> here, let me see. So we're, re- we're recording that. Okay. Hi, and <laughs> welcome to... <laughs> Hi. Our witches of wellness podcast. Oh, this is oh, this is our second. Vu. I know, <laughs> and we're the reason we're laughing is because I we actually did part of the podcast already, and I thought I had turned it on, and we hadn't. But <laughs> this time we're really doing it. Right, it's for real. <laughs> it's for real. So, so yes, um, we are here, the witches of wellness. Um, this is our second podcast. This is what we look like in real life. If you watched our last one, like this is really us, right? Yeah. Um, so I'm Camille, and I'm Brandy. Yes, and we're here today to talk to you about wellness for your holiday hustle. Yes, because we were just talking about the stress that everyone is feeling lately um, due to COVID, due to shifting, just everything like that. And then now we're adding the holidays into the mix. And so um, Camille and I got together and we're like, well, how do we de-stress? And can we offer that piece of advice to our listeners. So, yes, um, exactly. So, right now, if you're watching, listening, just kick back, relax, take these few minutes for yourself. Yes. And um, hopefully, you can walk away with some tips and techniques to de stress for the holidays. Yes. Before we get started with that, we did want to say something about today. It's a very special day for a couple of different reasons. Um, first of all, it's 11-11, which is our Veterans Day, and we just wanted to first say thank you to everybody who has served our country. Yes, thank you so much. We appreciate everything that you have done for our freedom. Yes, thank you. Thank you. And it's another special day, too. The number 1111 is actually a very special number. It's a very spiritual number. Yes. Um, it's uh, significant. It's, some people call it an angel number, um, significant in the fact that it's, it means your angels are surrounding you, that you're protected. That um, you're on the right path. That you're on the right path, exactly. Um, and, and, <laughs> and new beginnings. And new beginnings. Brandy and I share a brain, if you didn't know that already. <laughs> you don't know us in real life. Right. Um, we share a brain, so that was like we were about to say the same thing. Yes. Um, <laughs> But yeah, new beginnings. And um, I, about 15 years ago, I didn't know the significance of that number. And I was seeing it everywhere, like to the point where like it was getting ridiculous. It was on everything, like on the clock. It was on my receipt for the grocery store. It was everywhere. So I asked a friend of mine who was very spiritually in the know. And she explained to me that it was a significant spiritual number um, and the meaning behind it. And I thought that was really great. Um, I didn't know why I was seeing it, though, until a short time later when I found out I was pregnant. <gasps> baby yes. on the way. That's a huge new beginning. I know. It was my second baby. I had Aww. no idea. She was a total surprise. Um, absolutely floored. But it happened. And um, it all kind of made sense at that point. Right. And even before all, we even found out and all of this, I was telling my husband, like, I keep seeing this number. I don't know what the significance is. And then I found out what the significance was. I found out I was pregnant. And I, I told him, I'm like, see, like, this is what yeah. I, that was all about. That's what I was seeing this number for. And he just laughed and said that we were having a miracle baby, <laughs> baby Jesus, <Yes>. baby. <laughs> and yep, that baby she, Jesus. yeah, she was going to be like, you know, a miracle child and and she is and she is <laughs> in in many ways yes. i mean once you meet her you can tell she is that old soul yes. um she recently started doing her tarot readings yes and i'm telling you i i told her i said you are better than some of the readings i have had oh. where i went and paid you know right. lots yeah. of money like, she just and you can tell when you go to a psychic like going to her they just get it right it just There's comes out of her like certain yeah. language like if yeah. you hear like <clears throat> excuse me like i feel or i sense 
And, you know, you just know. And she's got it. So she, she yes. yeah, she's a very special girl. She is. She, she really is. Mm-hmm. I'll keep her. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes, just keep out. Keep your eye out for 1111. I've been seeing it a, a lot again recently. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm trying to figure out the significance. But there, you know, there's lots of shifts and changes happening. And a lot of transitions for people like, a lot of people are going through spiritual awakenings right now, like big, yes, big things, big shifts, big changes. Um, and it can be pretty overwhelming. Yeah. And especially now and then adding the holiday stress yes. in the mix. Yes. Um, it, it could push you over the edge. Yes. So that's like when we were talking because, you know, we're busy moms and working right. and everything. It's like, how do we balance it all? And Yes. We were saying, okay, well, we have some tips and techniques that work for us, so let's share them, you right. know? Yes, so. right. Stuff that we do every day that has just become kind of like more of second nature and things right. that you can really use like right away. Like when you're in, like when you're at the dinner with Uncle Fred and like you can't even. <laughs> you can't take Uncle Fred yes, anymore. <laughs> right. Like you need something Right then, like right. you need a technique, you need a tool, like something to get you through those holiday moments. <laughs> yes, or yes. Uncle Friend, <laughs> Uncle Fred's gonna hear some words that <laughs> exactly like you're gonna lose it on right. Uncle Fred. <laughs> um, right, and I feel yeah. like everybody's kind of a little bit heightened during the season. Yes, with all of the busyness of the season, and it is stressful. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be joyful, but it is also stressful. Right. So, yeah, so we've got some great tips today to Yay. share. Um, so I guess we could just get started with sharing those. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I have um, a few things on my phone. I brought it um, on my phone today because I knew I couldn't remember it in mm-hmm. my brain. <laughs> so um, I one of the things that we do a lot of um, just in our daily practices is affirmations. Yes. Um, which you've, you've probably, I think everybody's heard of affirmations and know what they are, but it's basically just like something that you say to yourself or out loud or write down just where you can see it every day to give you reminders to, to stay focused, um, Mm -hmm. on whatever your affirmation is regarding or to stay grounded or, um, it can, your affirmation can be whatever you want to be, but it's a very powerful tool because when you do read it or say it to yourself or say it mm-hmm. out loud, you're putting that out there into right. the universe. Like what we say becomes true. Yeah. So it's all energy. So mm-hmm. I have five affirmations for heading into the holidays. And these are actually, I have to give credit to my friend Sarah from Healthy Home Revolution. Check her out on Facebook. She is actually one of the people that motivates me um, in my life. Yes. She was like, she came to me at like a really like transitional point in my life. And she's been very inspiring to me um, on my wellness journey. Awesome. (laughs) That's so good. Yes. So these I'm giving her credit because these are her affirmations. So there's five of them. The first one is I think really powerful. I am more than enough. (gasps) I love that. I do too. I've I've seen I am enough, like, right. but I am more than enough. Like that is so powerful. Like, that, yes. right? <laughs> yes, that is very powerful. Yes, like so so powerful. Um, so I love that. So just tuck that one in your back pocket and just remember, that's for all times, not just for. Yeah, yeah. and it's it it's very powerful, but it's encouraging Yes, because you are more yes. than enough. Yes. You are all these wonderful things. You're right. enough, but you are but also more than that. Yes. Right. Yes. It's very empowering. Yes. Um, this one I really love, and this is very relevant to every day, but especially the holidays. It's okay to let things go, slow down and or unplug. Yes. We need to hear that and we need to be reminded of yes, that. Right. Like if there's a holiday party that you're just like, you would rather eat glass than go to it. <laughs> don't go. Right. Just say no. Just say you can't go. Right. Like just get comfy saying no. Yes. Because <laughs> I have a lot of friends that um, have that like social anxiety 
and they don't say no because they feel bad. And it's like, well, I have to, no, you have to take care of you. Yes. You take care of you first, then everything else falls into place. Honor yourself, honor your own body, honor your own stress levels. And it's okay to say no. It's okay to say no. Yep. It's okay to slow down. It's okay if you don't have that, you know, perfect wrapping paper. It's okay. What? I mean, I need the perfect wrapping paper. Do people no, really worry no, about it? I really don't. No, but, me, me. Okay. Because I'm like, oh, I'm matching in colors. Yes. And, I, and I do love that. I do. But, but like, yes. but if that doesn't happen, like, right. the holidays are not ruined. Like, right. they are and not ruined. Yeah. I just had to do that because I didn't have the right, like, paper and decorations. Okay. And I'm like, really? Are you going to run out to the store at 7 p.m.? It was like raining. I'm like, no, it's going to be okay. Yeah. Sure enough. 10 minutes later, I'm on to something else. Right, right. So, like we, I think we build things up so much during the holidays. Like mm-hmm. we build up like the expectations and the importance of things that maybe aren't as important. Right. But I think that's human nature to do that. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So, and the last part of that unplug, like literally, like if you want to totally. take a day, right, over, over your, if you have a holiday break or like some time off, don't feel like you have to give that time to other people, like just unplug from everything and take it for yourself. Yes. Yeah. Turn your phone off yes. or, you know, for an hour, tell your family members, you know, yeah, I, you know, I'm, I'm unplugging. Yes. Uh, yes. For an hour. Right. I'm, or, you know, I mean, if you can do longer, do as long right. as you like, can. I'm plug unplugging for like three months. Yes. <laughs> I'm unplugging until maybe like, like spring. Like 2025. <laughs> I'm I'll hibernating. <laughs> right. See you in yeah. spring. <laughs> Some days I feel like that. I do have a touch yeah. of social anxiety, so I understand like, yep, yeah, I would just like to hibernate if I could. Yes. Yes. Sometimes, not all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, here's the third one. I am creating a life that I love, and I don't need to change that to please others. Yes, that is so important. That is, yes. we need to say that all the time to ourselves because yes. so often we are like giving our like uh, worth and approval and that to someone else, and yes. it's like nope. We're we we're taking that back, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Like how we how we do our thing is our thing. Yeah. <laughs> right. And there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> right. We exactly. don't need anyone's approval for that. Nope. You definitely do not. Oh, this one's hard, Brandy. Oh no. I will stop worrying about things that are out of my control, like other people's thoughts, words, or actions. <sighs> Oh, look at the time. I got to go. <laughs> like, oh bury God. that down. Like, we'll pretend I didn't read that. No. Let me move on to the next no. one. <laughs> that one is so hard. It is. And I think that is probably one that oh. I, along with you, deal with yeah. a lot. It's, so Yes. I feel like when you are, like, when you're empaths and when you are sensitive, um, it's even harder to like manage all of that because you can you can see people's thoughts literally like you can look at them and and feel what they're thinking and see what they're thinking like in you know what I'm talking about oh my gosh (laughs) yes and to confirm that like yesterday we had the training you know in my job oh we had this training and you plot on the chart where you are so are you the driver you know the leader um expression are you feeling Okay, I'm like got the highest score of our group for feeling because I'm like and literally I feel everybody's everything. Oh my so gosh. um so it one of the techniques if you feel everybody's stuff and you're you know learn to create boundaries. Yes. Energetic oh boundaries. Right. And we'll talk about that, but Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, boundaries I feel is like we could do like a whole other show. Yes. For sure. Yes. Yeah. Because, yes. Yeah. Wow. (laughs) Yeah. That's like, that's a lot. But yeah, it's hard. It's sometimes hard to like separate yourself from other people's stuff. Yes. And and not take it on as like something you should worry about. Like, just keep your own stuff. (laughs) Right. Don't worry about other people. Well, and that's like the thing with boundaries too is like you're keeping 
others' energies out. And yes. sometimes they don't even realize even those that are closest to you, right. they're taking your energy. Yes. And they yes. may not mean to, but they're taking your energy so they feel better. Right. And leaving you depleted. Yes. Yes. So, right. Absolutely. Yes. Like, like little energy vampires. <laughs> yes. And literally, literally, that's what they're called. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yep. Okay. Here's the last one. I have something to be grateful for every single day, even on the hard days. Awesome. That's I love that. That's a good one. That's a good one. Always like, just always try. I always try to do that in the morning. Like when I wake up, I think of like, okay, this is one thing today that I'm grateful for. Mm-hmm. Set the tone for the day. And just kind of go back to whatever that is when things get sucky, like during the day. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? That's a good reminder for someone who is going through that. And if they're in panic mode. Yes. It, to remind yes. yourself, this is temporary. Yes. Oh I'm going to get through this day. Yeah. I've gotten through every other, you know, sucky day. Right. Right. <laughs> so this is temporary. And I'm feeling this way. So acknowledge it, express it, you know, maybe I should call someone right now. Maybe, you know, just, just acknowledging it usually helps to calm yourself and say, it's okay. You know, I'm okay. I'm safe. Yes. I'm safe. This sucks right, right now, but the key is right now. Right now. It's all, everything is temporary. Yes. Everything. Yes. Right. Even, even the good stuff. Right. Unfortunately, <laughs> right. but, but you know, more good stuff is going to come in. Right. Exactly. And the more grateful you are, the more blessings you receive yes. because you start to shift your focus of if you're all day long, like this sucks, this sucks, this sucks. The universe is listening right. and the universe is like, Okay. Oh, this does suck. Yeah. <laughs> and let me tell you what else sucks. Right. And More things. Yes. Yes. And the moment you shift that focus, right. and you're like, oh my God, I'm grateful for my family. And then, oh, you know, oh, I'm grateful it's Saturday. I don't, you yes. know, just it, the more you say in the universe is like, oh, well, wait a minute. I have a lot of things I'm grateful for, too. Yeah. Let me show you. Right. Let me gift you these grateful things. Yes. And yes, totally. Yes. 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 It's very powerful. It. If you've never tried it, just try it. Try it. Put Put something out there. Put your gratitude out there and see what happens after you do that. And let us know. <laughs> yes. I mean, seriously, because I mean, these are, you know, techniques that people have used that yeah, we have used. Yeah. Um, one technique, I had just a couple. Um, one te- technique is if you are like, especially holidays, we're talking about the stress of holidays, um, going shopping and you know, you got to shop and it's hard and you're angry and cars are beeping at each other. And I even say use this when you're driving, too, because you have to focus on the road. Um, It all stemmed with a little crystal called rose quartz. And rose quartz is heart, so it's love, but it also will calm you down. Um, Carry rose quartz with you. Always. Always. (laughs) If you don't have rose quartz, another technique that I found that people said worked is just envision your heart whole self in pink like light pink like glittery sparkly pink yes <laughs> and hold that space around you so in instantly it diffuses the situation think pink right that's what i say and yeah. then just if you're driving you know you can't reach for your rose quartz if it's not in your pocket just think pink that glittery and hold that space and immediately it tends to diffuse the situation and you don't feel as stressed. So that's just something I learned over the years from having rose quartz and using color, which is very important for healing techniques and everything. So, and everything is energy. So anyone who's listening, try that. The next time that you're out and about or holiday and you just feel maybe it's too much of a crowd, push out your boundaries your energetic boundaries with your pink yes. color ray and watch. You may even see people step up, or, you know, or step back 
yes. a little bit. Once you put that intention that you're putting your boundaries around you, right? Even if you want to, I mean, Camille and I, we don't care what people think. Of us. <laughs> we don't. If we're, we're in, in our forties, we don't care anymore. We don't care. <laughs> it's all downhill, <laughs> but. <laughs> But no, seriously, try that. You know, we would even put our hands up and it works. I mean, that's just one simple technique when you're on the spot. You know, you don't have anything. You can't, you know. Right. You don't have your crystals handy. Yes, use your protective bubble. Yes. Oh, my God, it works. It does. It does. I actually, um, I use that technique too when I'm traveling for safety. Oh, yes. Like, yeah, I'll put it like around the car or like around an airplane that we're in. Like, just imagine it. Being there and the yes. safety and protection. And just on a side note, just a random crystal fact. I'll probably throw these in a, a, from now and then. But when you said when you travel, I always tell everyone, put a piece of Labradorite in your suitcase. Um, Labradorite is third eye, but it's also protection. Yes. It protects your energy, your space, your belongings yes. too. So, um, So, yeah, I pop it in my suitcase. I usually have it on me anyway or something so but yeah it's a very good travel crystal and very good for protecting you that is awesome because a lot of people travel during the the holidays holidays. right yeah Mm -hmm. by car and plane I actually have a piece of labradorite that you gave me in my car awesome yes so I keep that there and I always remember that like yes and little side note for that um the reason why um I remember reading it years and years ago oh you know protection for travel okay like how well I had a labradorite um, double terminated like oh oh my gosh kept it in my jeep well my youngest and I driving home it was on a back road and you know how slick they get yeah well then it was covered Uh, with water from rain so we're going slow but we spin around and we're going off the road and we went right in between two big oak trees Oh my goodness. Didn't hit the oak tree. Had a little tree that kind of went up under the fender. Wow. But um, I looked down and obviously we're clearing stuff out of the car and the labradorites broke. <gasps> I'm like, we didn't even hit anything per se, but the labradorite, the labradorite, if your crystals tend to break, yes. they take a hit for you. That's oh what we gosh. tend to believe. That's one thing it could be. And I'm like, how literally it's, you know, an inch thick. I'm like, I don't know if we can see it. It's hard to break those. Yeah. You, yeah. And you could never break them with like a regular force. No. And so I just thought, oh, okay. I'm not going to question it. Yeah. Throw it in the car. Oh, that's amazing. I make my kids carry them too. And my kids are like, mom, oh my God. (laughs) (laughs) Really? You know, especially Caitlin, really mom? Right. Oh my God. Like, yes, just do it. Just do it. Right. Just try it. Like Try it and see what happens, right? Like just. Or I'll say, oh, honey, you went back to school and you forgot your crystals here. Oh, <laughs> They're right. They're like, oh, darn. Oh, yeah, I did, right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's I know. so funny. Um, <laughs> oh. uh, yes. Actually, you know what? That's an interesting like segue to the story that I was going to tell. Oh, yes. I want to hear the story. Okay. And this is like leading into a breathwork technique that I'm going to share that it is really good for diffusing, you know, that when you're starting to just boil, when you're starting to bubble up and you're just like, you're like having to like cover, like you want to say all the things and like, <laughs> right. And you're just like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is the technique for okay. that. And like, I mean, this is, you can use this every day, but at the holidays, I feel like, like somehow we end up in those types of like moments, like yes. during the holidays, whether it's like too many people out or whatever. Um, So it's called box breath, and I actually used box breath just a few hours ago. Really? (laughs) Yes. Oh, my gosh. You have to (laughs) tell us. Because (laughs) I was at home, and my daughter, Eva, was coming home from school with her um, good friend who drives her to school and back. And right in front of our house, when they were coming home, they slowed down for the driveway, and there was a cop driving behind them and he was driving too fast and he couldn't stop in time and he ran and he rear-ended them oh my gosh yes oh my gosh and are they okay they are okay thank god thank goodness they are okay Mm -hmm. the cop is okay the car is gonna need work obviously but 
the girls were fine. They were just kind of shaken up. But I, I it like it just hit me the wrong way. Like, yeah. and it like hit me the wrong way immediately. And I was like ready to like go out there and like you mama know bear. go mama bear on this cop because mm-hmm. he was driving too fast and. And my husband, Jim, actually, like, physically, like, guarded the door so that, <laughs> so that I wouldn't do that. <laughs> and he's like, take a breath. Right. And so I I immediately, like, started doing box breath. So I'm going to teach you how to yes, do box breath. Let's do it. Yes. So it's very, very easy. It's also called, um, I think, four count breath. Um, okay. And basically, like, you kind of think of it as as a box. So I'll ex- explain it first, and then we can do it together. Okay. So box breath, um, you're going to first inhale through your nose for a count of four. You're going to hold your breath then. Hold that breath in for a count of four. Then you're going to exhale out of your mouth for a count of four. And then hold the breath out okay. for a count of four. And you can repeat that cycle as long as you need to. Like okay. Until it, it starts to, it helps to regulate your nervous system. It helps to just like bring down your blood pressure. And um, that's good to know. It's like the it's like a chill out <laughs> breath. So how about we do like three like three in a row? So yeah. so we can do these together. Everybody that's listening, you can do this too. Yep. Um, okay. So we're gonna start by breathing in the count of four through your nose. Hold it for four. Breathe out through your mouth for the count of four. And then hold that with the exhale out for a count of four. And then we'll do it again. Breathe in through your nose for the count of four. Hold. Exhale. And hold. Instantly, you feel calm. Right? I feel, I'm like, oh, I don't even need a third one. I know. All right. So we'll skip the third one, but you get the idea. <laughs> but like, see, I'm even calmer now. Yes. But like, even just doing those two breaths. So just do it as many times as you need to. If you're worried people are going to think you're like weirdo, like just go in the bathroom and do it. <laughs> yeah. In, or even like just kind of, you know, to yourself and yeah. just lightly. Right. You know, when you exhale, just do it lightly. Yes. And, you know, just that rhythm. You can even count. Take a breath. One, two. Three, yes. Four. You know, to yourself. Right. And right. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Yes. Yes. So. Have everyone around the dinner table do it at your holiday gathering. Yes. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> do it together. <laughs> so and I have to ask. So did um, the police officer get a ticket? Did he write himself he a ticket? I made sure that didn't happen. I okay. made absolutely certain that some another cop came out. Good. Um, they actually brought out like the crime scene people. Oh, like, really? Yes, they did like a crime scene investigation on it. Um, wow. Yeah, I haven't gotten the report yet, but um, but I was like, it, yeah, it was not good. <laughs> it was, oh yeah, it was. Yeah. It was just everybody was fine, thank goodness. But yes. but yeah, that's yes. one of those situations where immediately my stress level was like sky high and I needed to bring it down right away. Right. So, right. So yeah. Right. So give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. Like you said, it really worked for you. It like did. You, yes. It absolutely did. Yes. Yeah. So I'm feeling chill. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I. What other fun tips do you have? Yeah. Um, another tip I have besides using your crystals, like use your crystals. Um, if I'm working and it's a busy day and I start getting stressed, um, I turn on music, but I will turn on what I call like Reiki healing music. Ah. Or um, one of my favorites are the Tibetan bells. As oh, nice. soon as I hear the Tibetan bells, instantly calm. Yeah. Because I listen to them so much, nice. you know, and um I don't have um, like a one that I can tell you to go look up, but if you just go to YouTube, yeah, type oh, in there's good ones there. Yeah, yeah, like you know, Reiki healing music, um, you will start to, I mean, you're flooded with them. And then I usually go through two or three and see what I'm drawn to. 
It could be different every single day. Um, if you are working with um, stress, anxiety, and you know where you keep it, like some people keep it in their shoulders. So that could be like throat chakra, heart chakra. They have different music that plays at those frequencies. Um, a lot of people keep it in their solar plexus. Okay. You yes. know, too. So yeah. um, a lot of times if people are coming to me and they're like, you know, I, they'll pick crystals like for reading this just little story. Um, and if I'm looking at their crystals and they have like five or six yellow crystals, I will say, what's going on with your solar plexus right here? And they may not know what a solar plexus is. And they'll say, well, you know, I don't know, but I'm having stomach pain or stomach issues. And, you know, by all means, we say, see your doctor. Right. This in no way, shape, or form takes precedence over a doctor. Absolutely. Um, this is just another way of looking at it, too. Yes. So right. I do say, make sure you see your doctor, but can you tell me what's been going on in your life? You know, yeah. so yeah. Um, then I recommend that, you know, because uh, that music does work it's healing there's um so sound like we said with the bell so um if you are in the store and you can't you know necessarily get to your phone just take a moment hold your cart you know and maybe close your eyes just for a brief second and remember that melody that sound the chimes think of your wind chime at some in summer you know and just you know, replay that in your mind for just a few moments and instantly. And I think from you and I, you know, practicing these techniques, we can say, you don't need to do the whole 30 minutes. Right. Like we just did like with the breath, like once you keep practicing these techniques, once you engage, it's almost instant. So, um, don't wait for the moment where you're going to clobber Uncle Fred over the head with the turkey. You know, <laughs> like practice now. <laughs> right, exactly. It's like muscle memory. It's, yes. it's it's just a different kind of a muscle that you're using. And the more you practice it, just like meditation, like the more you practice, like not the easier it gets, but like the more your body is just so familiar with doing it that you become a little bit better at it every right. time you do it. Yes, And that's like another thing and sort of piggybacking off of yours where it's okay to say no. Right. You are not the bad guy for saying no. No. If, if you're worried about hurting someone's feelings, you know, then they need to look at if they're overstepping boundaries Right. and it's them, it's not you. It's okay to say no. It is okay to say no. And you don't have to explain <laughs> why. Okay, here comes sassy brain. <laughs> I'm like, well, we'll stop that. But you don't have to explain. Never. No. Nope. If, if you can't, you can't. Right. You don't owe an explanation. You don't no. have to try to explain it away. Like, just say no. <laughs> yes. And, and then you can say, I'm unplugging. <laughs> yes. For three years. Yes. I'm right. unplugging for three years. So please don't bother me in... Then, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Oh. So, yeah. So yeah. That's, that's just a few ways. Uh, yeah. I love that. So, like, we've got, like, breath work, some sound therapy, crystal therapy. Yes. Um, so those are some really solid techniques. Affirmations, which which are really like a meditation in themselves. Like, if you're, you know, repeating them to yourself, um, saying them out loud, it, it's very meditative. Um, yes. And... Another thing, too, is recognize how you're feeling. Yeah. A lot of times if we start getting stressed or angry, we're, we're just like on um, adrenaline or, yes. you know, it's the reaction. Start like, okay, wait a minute. I'm starting to feel stressed. I'm starting, my chest is starting to get tight. Okay. Yes. You know, what what is in my toolbox? What can I use? Right. And immediately... I go for like grounding, you know, feel your feet on the ground, you know, and then it's like, okay, okay, Uh, my feet are on the ground, it's tangible, and then I repeat, I'm safe, and what I do um, through all my shaman training is open my Wairakocha, yeah, and you don't need shaman training for that, just... Put your protective 
bubble around you. And I know it sounds corny. And if you don't want to do this in the middle of the <laughs> no, you store, have to do this. You have to do yes, that. it's part of it. It doesn't <laughs> work if you don't do that. <laughs> yep, so you, know, you got to do this, and then um, hold your heart, hold the cart, close your eye, like whatever you can do. Have a bottle of wine. No, I'm yeah, kidding. <laughs> yeah, like go to the wine section. That is not a solution <laughs> no. for holiday stress. <laughs> no, just throwing that out there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. So, and, and once you practice these things, it's easier. So like I said, don't wait till the situation arises. Like, think about it now. Think about when did you get angry? What triggered that? Right. What did you do, you know, to resolve that? Right. So you'll start to see patterns guaranteed. Yep. You will. And then it's easier to address these things instead of blowing up at Thanksgiving dinner, Christmas dinner. Right, like throwing mashed potatoes at people. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Leaving. Goodbye, I'm plugging three years. Right, right. So, oh, well, I know um, another thing that I wanted to add that you can use too. um, We've, you know, talked about different types of therapies. Um, My brandies like our crystal diva, um, at our collective, I focus on plants, mm-hmm. um, and they can be really good allies for stress during this crazy season. Um, specifically, things um, like nervines, which a nervine is a plant that helps you to like immediately diffuse your stress and anxiety. Oh, it's, yeah, I've never all, heard that term before. Yeah, it's it's um, it's. It's used widely in the herbal community, but um, it's important to, to realize that. And if you think like nervine, nervous system, mm-hmm. so it like has an immediate effect on the nervous system. So things like, um, and you don't have to get anything fancy. Like you can literally go to your grocery store nowadays. You don't have to go to the specialty store. You can go to the grocery and find most of these things. Um, things like chamomile. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, chamomile, which is like a very soft and gentle um, nervine. Okay, um, so like which, chamomile tea, yeah, or there's like, yes, like like tea is a great way. I actually prefer tea because I feel like you're you're getting the whole experience of the plant. You can mm-hmm. also do things like a tincture, which is um, an al- like extracted in alcohol. Um, it extracts the plant extracts into the alcohol, and then you take a few drops of that. Um, you can put that in like warm water, um, and then there's you can buy capsules, but I I never have recommended those because right. you're not really experiencing the plant. You're just swallowing the capsule. And it's right. not, not to say that it won't work for you, but like it's the whole experience, which is why I like doing infusions or teas um, more because you, you get the aromatics of the plant, which are also super important. Yes. You're, when you're smelling plant aromatics, it's immediately going into your, your nose and affecting your brain chemistry. Mm-hmm. Um, like lavender is a popular one. Lavender is another one. Lavender is also a nervine. And you can drink lavender like in a tea. Um, very, You can find that at pretty much any grocery now, any major grocery. You can find a tea that has some sort of lavender in it. Um, so these are like, you know, you don't have to, there are like more, um, not obscure, but um, lesser known uh, common things, you know, that you would see at a grocery store that you could get as well. But there's really no need to when you can go to the grocery and, you know, grab like a nice tea right. in an emergency, right? Like when you're like having an emergency, like you don't want to have to like think about ordering stuff online, but you could ahead of time just to be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And um, that brings up a good point too, because I remember years ago um, doing a class and about meditation and I was lighting candles and like lavender scented candles. And I remember Marie from Crystal Treasures. Yeah. She's like, oh, is that real lavender? And I'm like, well, I don't think so. It's like lavender scented. She's like, but you need the real lavender for it to work. Yes. <laughs> that is an excellent point. Yeah. So if, when you're doing these things, don't go grab like lavender scented, you know, a bar of soap or something like right. it has to have like yes. genuine lavender. Yes. The actual like constituents of the plant itself right which actually when when you inhale those they actually communicate to your brain like what your body should do so if it's not if it's not the real thing like it's not going to work it's right and maybe and since you have like a wealth of knowledge with the herbs and oils and 
Is there anything that someone should know? Like, are there certain ones you can't put on your skin or some, like you can't like, Uh, Oh, there's, there, there are, there's, Oh my gosh. That's like, we be cautious of just at beginner level class. Yeah. Um, Beginner level. Well, like, like, first of all, the first thing you have to consider is like your own body, your own sensitivities, um, um, you know, if you already know that you have certain allergies or sensitivities, like obviously avoid something. That's like the most critical thing. Um, if you have any health concerns, um, if you're pregnant, I I can give advice on that. I probably wouldn't do it here. I would say, you right. know, check with your practitioner, check with your medical doctor first to see absolutely if things are okay for you. Um, there's a lot of uh, especially like getting into the aromatherapy world, there are a lot of things to consider. Mm-hmm. Um, but as far as like, you know, common things like like lavender, um, you know, in doing like a, actually I do this all the time because it's super easy. I just put like a drop or two of lavender on a cotton ball and oh, yeah. I carry it in my pocket and I just, when I feel like I need a little something, something, like I just, you know, sniff oh, that's it, perfect. Give, it a, give it a little a little waft in front of my nose. Um, and that's, it's an easy way to use it, um, you know, using a very small amount. And you that's another thing too. I mean, this aromatherapy is like a whole different show, I think. Right, but, right. But like less is usually more like it, it, you don't have to like fully even smell, like have a full like mm-hmm. robust smell to get the benefits of aromatherapy. Okay. Like even just a little bit is good. Um, okay. and there's obviously different, tons of different oils that you could use for stress, but, um, but lavender is one that's easily located, yes. um, nowadays. Like I remember when you couldn't find it at like, like a major grocery or something, yeah. but now you can like, and sometimes even at the drugstore. So, um, and obviously there's like, we could talk about like quality and like all that stuff. That's like, right. all that stuff's like a whole different show, but, um, but these, you know, these are tools that are are quick and accessible that that you can have in your back pocket, like literally for yes, yes. for an occasion where you're gonna lose it, yes, <laughs> <laughs> or you think you might lose it, yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> so so for our listeners, if they're very you know beginner with oils and herbs and that, start with the lavender, start with chamomile, like the yes. get the teas, yes, There's, you know, Try them out, yes, and. Just keep in mind too that just because something is natural and and usually widely um, well thought of as safe, you never know how something is going to react for you and your individual body. So always keep that in mind. Yes, um, safety and first. It's safety first, <laughs> and if you're not sure of something, it, how it will react with you, call your practitioner, call yes. your doctor. Right, like you know they know your body. <laughs> you know. I, check with them first yeah you know yes Yes. and actually that makes me think too um I guess we can I I'm not sure if you have anything else to share but if we if we want to wrap up a a very important thing that that just made me think of that I wanted to add is that if if the holidays are becoming too stressful for you or you are experiencing um significant emotions or if you're having um a lot of grief or you know dealing with things that are overwhelming please reach out, reach out to your people, reach out to um, a qualified practitioner. Um, I mean, there's people out there to help and the holidays can be really stressful and hard for a lot of people. So just know like that's my best advice really is like if, <clears throat> if the stress is too much, reach out and get help from a qualified person, um, whether it's for, you know, emotional, mental, physical, all of that. Um, like, don't be afraid to do that. <laughs> right. Yes. I, that's so important. Yeah. That is so important because when you're in the mix of it and the heat of things, you know, you forget that. And so just, right. you know, remember every, everything is temporary. Everything is temporary. And Everybody write that down yes. and put it in your pocket and yes. <laughs> keep it with you or put it in your purse. It, that yeah. is like the best advice. Yes. And, everything is temporary. Yes. And, and. <laughs> There are people out there that are skilled that will be able to help you. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Well, that's just a few tips to, yeah. that we wanted to share with you. I mean, we could talk about this all day. Cause, I know. Because <laughs> we know, do. This, that's yeah, what we do. That's what we do. And like, <laughs> this is what we do is like we help people to, you know, minimize their stress and increase their wellness. And um, so, yeah, I think 
that wraps us up for today yeah. and we'll be back in a couple weeks with another topic yep. surprise and... topic it's going to be a surprise to us even yes and you know what <laughs> if there's things that you want to talk us to talk about yeah. or you have questions or anything i know camille and i will um, post this on facebook so yeah. our Facebook friends will see it too. Um, but reach out to us, like send us a message. If you have a question, a concern, um, you know, let us know. Right, right. You can reach out to Brandy at Soul 7 Chakra. Yeah. And I am at Autumn Moon Beauty and Wellness. <laughs> yeah. And we are located in downtown Lake Orion. Yeah. Um, we are appointment only, but send us a message and um, we're here to help we're here to help all yeah. right thank you so much everybody for hanging out with us today and we will talk again soon yes thank you thank you bye-bye